Hello everybody, here I am out here today at a local farmer's market in West Palm Beach, Florida. It's Saturday and uh, I'm out here uh, with my sign here letting people know about uh, the scriptures and about a wonderful creator. Uh, but people have a major issue. Uh, today is the holy set apart day of the Sabbath, the fourth commandment. This is a day we are to honor our creator, not be doing the, the things that the world is doing. That's what holy means, it means set apart. Uh, the wickedness that's taken apart today is all around me. Look how crowded it is here today. Look at this wickedness that the people are committed today. And Psalms 1 says, do not uh, dwell in the council of sinners. Do not walk among the wicked. And uh, that's what every single person that's here is doing. And if you're going to be out here today, you best be preaching the word and not be partaking and spending money and all these different things. We're out here at the local farmer's market and I'm all for food. I've been a vegan 25 years. I'm all for healing the physical body. But when you neglect spiritual health and you idolize our physical health, uh, we got a problem. And I see people out here, they pay more attention to their dogs than they do their own physical and spiritual health. I see people out here that are just uh, walking in wickedness. Some of them uh, don't know the word and they're naive. Uh, and many of them do know the word and they're ignoring it. What's worse? And I tell you, James 4, 17 says, to know good and not do it to him it is sin. Uh, but uh, these people are so diseased, thinking uh, that they're not committing wickedness today. I'll tell you this, when that day of judgment comes, there's no dog that's going to save anyone. There's no carrot that's going to save anyone. They're going to have to answer to our Creator. And if people decided uh, to just throw away the great thing that Yeshua did for us by dying for us, people are going to have to answer to Him. And they're going to have to make some righteous uh, decisions very quickly. Uh, but there's a good chance it's going to be too late. Uh, but uh, we're just out here now and uh, letting people know. And people come up, I say, when's the last time you read the Bible? And some people say, well, I read it this morning. Well, then how come you're out here? How come you're, you're doing this wickedness? Some uh, people out here, some, some women are walking around half naked because they don't understand what modesty is. And nobody's saying a word. People are walking around here with alcohol, and nobody's saying a word. But people have a problem with me preaching the word. Pure wickedness. Uh, and there are consequences for it. The scriptures say, have no other idols. I see a whole uh, world here behind me of people making an idol out of their food. Making food more important than our wonderful creator. And that cannot happen. That has to change if people want to receive the wonderful blessings that we all can get in our lives. People have to change and do something about that and start realizing the consequences that come with not living a righteous life. Like it said, my sign says, he died for us. You know, so uh, it says, he died for you. Read and repent. Follow the Holy Word. And he gives Psalms 50, 22 as my warning to people that people would get it and wake up. And this is my call to the internet world as well. You guys, you guys need to be out there preaching a word. Every shirt you have should be an advertisement for Yeshua. Get the word out and let people know. This is why many people are deceived. There's not enough people talking about this. I could ride down the block and there are people out there that have uh, kids, car wash signs, collecting monies in a boot, at the red lights, signs for free car washes. They go out there and do that. Why can't they hold up signs telling people Yeshua died for them? We have to go out there and tell everybody, Yeshua, our wonderful Messiah, died for us so we can live and we can have life. People need to know, so they, they can't say they never heard it. Anyone you know should never be able to say, well, I never heard that. Every single person that, that crosses your path, that their ears are in, in, in voice level of your lips, should know that we need to make the righteous choice and do the righteous thing. And we need to tell them what that is according to the Bible. These people know their cell phones better than they know their uh, Bibles. And they wonder what the issue is. They know secular songs, the words of secular songs, better than they know the words of Scripture. They wonder why there's so much disease in their life. There's so much going on in their life today, and uh, uh, they don't understand. They're not going to find the answer. It's not in money. It's not in animals. It's not in worshiping things. It's not in going to psychiatrists. It's not in drugs. It's only in Yeshua, our wonderful Messiah. Hallelujah. So prayerfully, these people will wake up, and they'll get it. Somebody will hear the word. Somebody will repent about living the life people are living. The way people are living today, to, to look at this wickedness all around us. It's the holy fourth commandment of the Sabbath. People are walking around immodestly. People are spending money. People are, are throwing our creator's words 
like stepping all over it. It doesn't matter to them. They don't care about that. All people care about is, is uh, uh, their own physical comfort. The Bible says there's a way before each person that seems right but ends in death. We're not talking about a physical death, folks. We're all going to die. We're talking about a spiritual death. The Bible says the wicked person shall die before their time. We have a choice and we need to make, make and stop making better decisions. Hallelujah. Go out there and let everybody know. The Bible says uh, that there's a, a, a way before us that seems uh, that's good, a path of righteousness that offers us a future and a hope. But the people aren't answering that. It also says, I take no pleasure in the death of wicked people. I pray that they would uh, change from their wicked ways and they would live. But these people aren't listening. And the Bible's great examples of the consequences that comes on people when they don't listen. They don't get it. So what are you going to choose, folks? Are you going to choose life or are you going to choose death? You have that choice. You have that opportunity. Uh, but people aren't doing it. People aren't doing it. Look at the wickedness behind me. Get out there. Let everybody know. Let the world know. Go and tell the world. Yeshua died for them. Everybody, somebody died for you so we can live. So we have another choice. Somebody actually died for you. His name is Yeshua, the one you call Jesus. Start getting right with the Bible if you want our Creator to be right with you. It's the holy word of our Creator. When's the last time you read the Bible, ma'am? Two days ago, and she's still out here in the Fourth Commandment defiling it. So we need to get, okay, stop breaking the commandments and get right with the word. It's not just reading, it's actually doing. James 4, 17, to no good and not do it to him it is sin. We need to get right with the words of the Bible. When's the last time you read the Bible? This morning, and you're still out here on the Sabbath. Yahweh, help these people. Help these people understand the way they should go. They treat their dogs more important than they treat our Creator, and they don't think there's going to have any consequences. People need to wake up and get right with our Creator if they want Him to be right with them. So I'm out here doing my best to let people know the way, the truth, and the light. Because there are so many people out here just walking in wickedness, walking around immodestly, walking around um, worshiping idols and doing things that the Bible says not to do and hanging out with people drinking walking around and doing all these other things and until people turn they're not gonna they're not they're not gonna get it there's only one way to salvation and that's Yeshua our wonderful Messiah it's great to treat your body fine from the physical food that we have here but we have a creator of that food and we need to listen to him the creator of the food and we need to pay attention to our spiritual health not only our physical health. When will people get it? Wake up, people. All right, everybody. So I want to encourage all of you out there in uh, Internet land uh, to, to get right with the Holy Word and go and tell people about Yeshua, our wonderful Messiah, before it's too late. Hallelujah. Uh, all right. Uh, go and tell the world. I come to you today in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, the one you call Jesus. I come to tell you about the Holy Words of Scripture that He commands us to follow in the Bible. I want you all to be blessed in the name of Yeshua. But we can only do that by following the words of our Creator, not by following man's ways. I see people out here honoring their pets more than they honor our Creator. They know the words of secular songs more than they know the words of our Creator. And they wonder why there's so much sickness and death in this world. I'm all for eating healthy food. I think it's great to nourish our bodies. I'm a vegan for 25 years, but I'll tell you what, we cannot neglect our spiritual health and expect to get uh, the complete healing and blessings that our Creator promises us. We gotta read the word of our Creator. We gotta understand what the Bible says about living according to His word. When's the last time you read the Bible? That's the problem. People aren't reading the words of our Creator, and if they're reading it, they're not following it. Some of you read it and ignore it. Other of you have never read it. What's worse? Well, the Bible says there's a way before man that seems right but ends in death. We need to start following the words of our Holy Creator if we want to get his, uh, his righteous blessing upon us. In Psalms 1 it says, uh, do not uh, dwell with the wicked. Do not walk among the wicked. Be righteous. Be like a tree planted, a solid tree. And what people are doing today on the Holy Fourth Commandment of the Sabbath, they're dwelling with the wickedness. We need to follow the Bible if we want to have an eternal life with our wonderful Creator, Yeshua Messiah. Get right with our Creator's words if you want it to be right with you. The time is now. The time is now to read the words of our Creator and get right with it no matter how lost you are, no matter how much 
Uh, you think you're right in your flesh. Until you get right with the words of our Creator, nothing in your life is going to change. Ask yourself, when's the last time you read the scriptures? What else Creator say? Vegan for over 25 years. And I got great physical health. But many people are, are losing out on the spiritual health. The spiritual health that comes along with it. It's a complete package, folks. And that's the problem we have today. We're out here trying to take care of our physical health at this farmer's market. But what about our spiritual health? When is the last time you guys have read your Bible? And if you have read it, how come you're not following it? How come you're not following the words of our creator? When's the last time you read the Bible? Okay, so we have deaf ears to our words of our creator. People aren't here uh, treating their pets better than they're treating their own life. They're walking around immodestly. They're ignoring the words and the warnings of a wonderful creator to get this great abundant health. The Bible says there's a way before each person it seems right, but ends in death. They're not talking only about a physical death. We're all going to die physically. They're talking about a spiritual death. And it's time we got right with our creator if we want our creator to be right with us. So in all areas, in all areas, today is the holy fourth day, the fourth commandment, the seventh day, Sabbath, and many of you are doing just what it says not to do in the Bible. In Psalms 1 it says, Blessed is a man that does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, does not walk among the wicked. And here I am watching a whole bunch of people uh, defile and break the holy set-apart Sabbath of Scripture. And they wonder why there's so much death, sickness, and disease in this world. And why so many people are suffering. The fears of man are amongst everyone today. When's the last time you read your Bible? I'm Jewish. Okay, uh, well, I asked you when the last time you read your Bible was. Uh, I have read the Torah. Okay. Ago. Oh, you read the Torah. Do you keep the fourth commandment? Because it looks like you brought that on the Sabbath. What? This? No, your food. Did you buy that today? Uh, yes. What about the fourth commandment to keep the Sabbath, the Sabbath set apart and holy? I not follow. That's in the Torah. I'm sorry, sir. I am too. I'm very sorry and pray that you make a better choice about keeping the fourth commandment Sabbath holy. Hallelujah. We all have a choice, but it depends what we're going to do with this. Uh, today is the fourth commandment, and many of you are just ignoring that word of our Creator. Uh, but we have the right choice. The way, the truth, and the life of Yeshua is here. And we all have that opportunity uh, to repent. To repent for our wickedness, to repent for our wicked ways. Uh, but people aren't doing that. And uh, there's going to come a day upon us. When we're not going to be able to be saved by our dogs that we treat better than our bodies. We're not going to be able to be saved by the food that we're eating. There's only one Savior. And He's given us a second chance. But there's no third chance. And that is Yeshua, our wonderful Messiah. People are coming out here uh, just choosing to ignore sin. Uh, many of you are deceived. They don't even know what sin is. And then the problem is you're not reading your word. So we have two problems. Number one, people aren't reading their Bibles. And number two... People are, and they're ignoring it. What problem is worse? Well, it says in James 4, 17, to no good and not do it to him it is sin. To no good and not do it to him it is sin. Sin is transgression of the holy words of our Creator. And it's time we change our ways if we want to get the wonderful blessings that our Creator promises us. He promises us create, uh, great blessings if we choose to live according to His words. And so many people out there are choosing not to. And this holy, special, set-apart day is a wonderful example of how people are choosing uh, to live according to the world's ways instead of according to man's ways. We have an opportunity to change. Open up your Bibles. Start dressing modestly. Start treating your spiritual health just as well as your physical health. Start following the words of our Creator and watch the blessings that come along with it. But I understand about the flesh. The Bible says there's a way before each man that seems right but ends in death. When's the last time you read the Bible? People can't even, they don't even know what their Bible is. You know why there's so much sickness and disease in the world? Because the plagues of our wonderful Creator say a starvation, disease, and death are consequences of living against His words. And that's what so many of you are doing. And then you wonder why we have money problems. You wonder why we have relationship issues. You wonder why we have uh, health problems. Because you're not following the greatest health book ever written. The words of our wonderful Creator. When's the last time you read the Bible, man? What about the fourth commandment? Have you thought about that one? So, uh, uh, to know good and not do it to him, it is sin. That's what the Bible says. 
to no good and not do it to him it is sin. We have a great opportunity to, to change our life, to change the way we're living, to change what are doing, what we're doing. But many people are choosing to ignore those and appease the weakness of this world. It says in Psalms 1, do not walk in the counsel of the wicked. Do not walk among the wicked. Be like a solid tree planted that the leaves won't wither. And the water that nourishes that tree is the word of our wonderful creator and Yeshua, our wonderful Messiah, the one you call Jesus. You have a chance to turn and repent. That's what repent means, to turn. How many of you want a better way, a better life? Well, it says in the Bible, know the plans I have for you. They are for good and not disaster. To give you a future and give you a hope. How many of you want a future and a hope? You're seeking for your healing from these fruits and vegetables. That might heal you physically, but what about your spiritual diseases? Are you going to get right with the word? I want to encourage everybody to go home and read your Bibles. To open them up. Read what they say and compare your life against the scriptures. It says in the Bible, transgression of the law is wickedness, is sin. And that's what so many of you are suffering from today. So please, please, please change your lives. Change your ways. Make the right choice. Do the right thing. And you can have everlasting life. As it says, he died for us. So we can have life. Do you know somebody died for you? Yeah, man. When's the last time you read the Bible? Last night. Last night. What's that? There you go. And you drink an alcohol on top of it. Uh, complete wickedness according to scripture. And I pray that you get right with the words of our creator so he can bless you. Because I'm if you, Catholic. Are you Catholic? Uh, no, I'm not Catholic. I'm a follower of the Holy Word of Scripture. And it says not to uh, no. be drinking oh, our uh, garbage. and. No, I'm not. I'm a follower of the Bible. What's your religion? Um, the religion is Yeshua, a wonderful Messiah, Jesus. That's my religion. No, you have a religion. You no. have a belief. What's your religion? My belief is following the words of the Bible. Uh-oh. You're uh, not uh, religion. Uh, well, I'm not following man-made religion. Repent. Put down your alcohol and repent. Okay? Put down your alcohol and repent and make the right choices. And you can be blessed tremendously. Yes, sir. Are you Messianic Jew? Yes, I am, sir. Beautiful. Yes. I'm a Bible teacher. Oh, hallelujah. And we just went through the Passover Seder with the kids, explained all the different meanings, hallelujah. all the different elements. Yes. And of course, it's about the Lamb of God, Jesus. Exactly. That's, that's everything. Christ. Without Him, it's nothing. That's so you know, we have a local fellowship. You can come meet us. Yeah. Uh, and make work every Saturday at 3 o'clock. Is it Jews for Jesus? No, no. Jews for, Jesus, for Jesus, is not, Jesus is not. That's different. They don't believe in following the words of our Creator. They really? don't keep the Holy Feast days. Oh, they live a Christian lifestyle, which is right. not biblical. You know, all these people that think to be Christians out here, but they're not following the fourth commandment, keeping the Sabbath holy. You know, and so then you're they very, you're very strictly um, following the Jewish commandments. No, no, the, it, it, the Old Testament. There's nothing Jewish about the Bible. It's, it's, it's the Bible. It's all one. It's one book. So you know, you know, Jesus you didn't know, die, Jesus read, didn't die so we can make excuses for our sin. I understand. Yeah, that. yeah. Read, read Acts where Paul and Peter made the case with James in the church in Jerusalem about whether Gentiles should have to become Jews and be circumcised yes. or not. I know the decision it. was not. Yeah. All they have to do is follow Jesus right. as their Savior. We have to be circumcised in the heart. Absolutely. You know, and to be circumcised in the heart, we should want to follow our guidelines and create the commandments. I just know that that issue was debated in the early church and a decision yeah. was made. Uh, yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm with you, brother. Here's what I'm, I'm saying. Proclaiming God What's your name? Here. Yeah. Jeff, thank you. What I'm saying is if we're truly circumcised with the heart, we should want to obey our Creator. Absolutely. Yes, and we're saved by the blood of Yeshua, not by our works, but we should do our best to obey our Creator. Thank you, brother. Have a good day. So we see and we understand, folks, there's one way, there's one truth, and there's one life, and that's Yeshua, our wonderful Messiah. Make the right choice before it's too late.